This is fifth grade, lesson eight, and this is on subtraction facts and fact families. This should be a review from last year, okay? But let's go on and review it again this year, okay? Let's say I had five birds flying. As you can see, those are my birdies, okay? <laughs> and three of them fell to the ground. How many birdies do I have left up in the air? Two. Two, you're exactly right, okay? So I'm gonna show you a subtraction sentence that I used to show this. I had five flying birds. I took away, or three fell. This means take away or subtract, minus. Three fell, and how many did I have left in the air? Two, okay? So all subtraction is, is a story that we tell using um, these methods, okay? So, let's write down the answer to a subtraction problem. Do you remember what that's called? So here we have five minus three equals two. Do you remember what that number is called? A sum? No, that's for adding. Very good remembering on that one. This one is called the difference. In subtraction, we say difference is the answer to a subtraction problem, okay? Now, I want you to watch this. Listen to the wordings of this. When seven is subtracted from 12, what is the difference? So they're asking you what's the answer. When seven is subtracted from 12, okay? So if I have 12, and seven is taken away or subtracted from 12, what do I have? Five. Five, you're exactly right. And so five is the answer, but the answer to a subtraction problem is called? The difference. The difference. So what is the difference between 12 minus seven? Five. Five, very good. Excellent job, okay? Now listen to another way I say it. What is eight minus three? That one's kind of a little bit easier. I would say eight minus three. And as you can see, you can count up with your fingers from three to eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can see that it's easily five, right? Okay, so that is our answer. So what's our answer called? Difference. The difference, very good. All right, now, there's something in math called inverse operation. You might wanna write down this word. It's kind of weird. Inverse operation, okay? Now we're not going into an operating room for an operation, okay? That's just operations are used in math to describe something we do, a procedure, an operation, okay? Inverse operation is the opposite. So for example, watch this, Eli. Let's use the numbers two and three. If I, I'm gonna move to adding for just a minute. If I add two plus three, what would I get? Five. five. If I added three plus two, what would I get? Five. Okay, now, watch what I do. I'm gonna use these same numbers, but I'm gonna make it a subtraction problem. And when you're working with subtraction problem, you always have to choose the biggest number. Which one's my biggest? Five. Five. So what I'm gonna do is, watch this. Five, I'm gonna do a subtraction problem using these same numbers. Five, and I'm gonna just pick one of these two. 5 minus 3 is going to equal 2. two. And 5 minus 2 is going to equal three. 3. Isn't that cool? These, this is all my addings. These are all my subtractions. These are inverse operations. So, this is a fact family. Write that down. This is a fact family because... We used these numbers, two, three, and five, to make two adding problems and two subtraction problems, okay? Now it's your turn to do it home using these numbers, three, four, and seven. Work on that, you wanna come up with two adding problems and two subtraction problems, okay? So, Elon, come on up here and tell me what this will look like. Draw it up here for me. Doing a fact family using the numbers three, four, and seven. You should have two adding problems and two subtraction problems. 
Excellent. Hopefully at home you're doing just the same. And he did it just exactly right. Perfect, Eli. Okay. As you can see, he has two adding and two subtraction. Okay. And they all three plus four does equal seven. And four plus three equals seven. Okay. Seven minus four equals three. And seven minus three equals four. Excellent job. This is a fact family. 